Maine, a place known for its many lakes, streams, and ponds, its long list of beautiful wildlife, and miles and miles of back road through dense forest without a block of civilization around. Join me as I show you what this great state has to offer. From foraging to fishing and wildlife conservation, we'll do it all. I live my life loving everything nature has to provide here. Stick around and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. At the very least, I hope you enjoy following along. Welcome to Wild Maine. Previously on Wild Maine. We went out and visited an old beaver lodge to find snare poles. We talked about using aspen for beaver bait and how to identify it. We played on the ice. Set some snares. Went over how to make a snare pole. Set more snares. Now it's time to get back out there and go check those snares. This is Under Ice Beaver Snaring, Part 2. Welcome back to Wild Maine. In this episode, we're going to be checking some snares that we set in the previous episode. Uh, we got a blizzard going on today. It was total whiteout conditions this morning when I went into work. I left at 2.30 and could hardly see the road. It hadn't been plowed, so that was nice too. But right now it's hailing. I'm sure you can hear that a little bit in the background because the, the camera here is attached to the uh, windshield. So we're taking it nice and easy, heading down the road to go check our snares that we set yesterday. And hopefully we'll pulling something out of the ice. Otherwise, this trip was off or not. The best trap, ain't it? We'll catch you in a second. So this isn't good. Uh, this road has not been plowed yet. And it's all slush on top of ice. And of course, my four-wheel drive is broken right now. So, the truck's kind of going where it wants to every once in a while. Like, I'm turning and it's going straight. <laughs> this is cute. So, I'm going, uh, you know, 15 miles an hour. Just hoping we can get there. Good news is, as long as we can get there, we'll be fine because I can take the. Uh, the back way out, which is actually all main roads, surprisingly. Oh, see, look like that. I'm turning right, and it's going left. And we still got to cross the trestle. So this could get interesting real quick, folks. Wish me luck. made it to the, the pond. That was kind of sketchy. And this hail hurts. So we're going to try to make this as quick as possible while filming. It's kind of contradictory if you ask me, but we're going to go see if we got anything. Keep your fingers crossed. No, literally, please. Cross your fingers for me right now. I need the good juju. That was kind of fun. 
wind blowing the time, knocked the tripod over, the phone got wet, and then it died because it got too cold. So I messed the first setup. When I chiseled the ice, it kind of made a mess of things. And wasn't able to see the snares, so I had to pull it up. So set the snares off. I took that one and deactivated it. Put it back in the water. We're not running that one. Um, so the second two, the other two, I should say, not the second. The other two, I was able to neatly chisel the ice out and pull down into the water. The snares are sitting perfectly. Haven't been touched, so he didn't miss much. At least I didn't go out there and not rolling the camera and caught a deer in like last time. So back into town now. The roads are a hundred times better. I can actually go where I want to. You know, I'm cruising along at 40. That road was interesting to say the least. Probably wasn't the best idea to go on today. But I was getting it. I'm sure you other trappers know what it's like to want to go take the trap at the time. This is what we love to do. But I'm going to let those sit for a couple of days now, I think. Maybe go check them Wednesday. It's Monday now, so I'll go check them on Wednesday. Give them two days to settle. And uh, we'll touch back in there. So here's something you never see. I've never seen it in my life. That's how bad the roads were yesterday. Off we go again. Checking the traps. Gonna see if we can get something. Beautiful day today, so very least we got a nice trip out to the nice 36 degree weather we got up here today. Alright, we're out on the pond making a little hike out towards the beaver lodge. And, uh, I don't know, I just don't got a great feeling. But, we're trappers, we check them whether there's stuff in them or not. That's part of the game. So we'll keep the fingers crossed, per usual. And see what we're looking at. Nothing in that side. That side fired. On to the next one.
those ones either. To the last set. here with a plow on it is pushing a car at 40 miles an hour too they're moving only in Bradford Maine icicles on your mustache and your beard probably not gonna be rolling the camera too much in the next couple hours but she's cold okay so we're at a new lodge right now and I can't pick it up on camera I don't know why but the chimney's working on this beaver lodge there's steam rolling right right up out of it so we're gonna set this and then there's one further down over there that after every snowstorm has been right back to completely brown. So we're going to get these set and hopefully get some beaver. Okay, I am officially an icicle, but we got one nice set in there and one nice set in there, both facing the lodge. And like I said, she was uh, smoking out the chimney, so... Actually, it still is, but I'm not able to catch it on camera. So I'm feeling pretty good about how these ones are going to go tomorrow. Just going to do these two because it is wicked freaking cold. I'm going to leave that, that lodge down the pond for, for tomorrow, I think. Because uh, I need to go get warm. I will tell you, though, cutting through the ice keeps the insides warm. Good little workout out in the snow time to head out and we'll touch base again tomorrow ho 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 the next day i headed out with jacob the neanderthal to help him set some traps on his uncle's land this is his first time trapping so i figured i'd show him the ropes he asked me to show him how to snare some beaver so i was happy to oblige So we're checking out a spot down here in the woods. Had to find uh, Jacob some, some aspen as we went over the other day in, in a video. You look for that grayish bark, it's got a little bit of a green tinge to it. That right there is the perfect thickness. Perfect thickness for beaver bait. 
anyway, we're going to go take a look at this small pond here, see what kind of layout we're dealing with, and set a trap or two. Then we're going to check that trap that Jacob set yesterday. Just be careful, you don't want to be jabbing too deep down there. Alright, so just scoop that out and you get yourself a little window. Nothing now. Take a gander. All right. So I gave the traps a couple days to sit. Actually, I think it's only been a day, but time's kind of blending together now. It's been a long week. And uh, anyway, I think I was denning them up by constantly hacking into the ice right next to the lodge. And uh, if you got some skittish beavers. They'll hang out inside of a lodge for three, four days. So, gave them some space. Hopefully, got them to come out. We're gonna go check the snares now and see see what we got. Thought about putting in another set, but I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, got a secret weapon, but baited sets out of the ice are kind of hit and miss anyway. So. We're just going to keep checking them and hope that eventually we get something. Down the trail we go. And the uh, trip here was not so fun. So last night we uh, had another blizzard. Seems to be a, a common thing these days. So it snowed a ton overnight. And then into the morning it switched over to rain. Well, the road froze underneath the snow and the rain made all kinds of slush, which on the road out here to the snowmobile trail has not been plowed. And uh, that's like the worst possible driving conditions. So 10 miles an hour, we went the whole way here. But we're here and uh, walking down to the beaver traps now. Got to make this as quick as possible because there is the chance that we get plowed in and that is the last thing that we want. So off we go. Let's go see what we got. He knows right where we're going and he knows there's something in there. He loves the smell of that lodge. Man, it smells like beaver down here.
nothing in this side. The water is very muddy though. Big air bubble over here. Not sure if that's from chopping through the ice over there or what. Nothing in that one either. That beaver lodge is actually still steaming. More air bubbles. Not gonna get my hopes up because that hasn't shown to do anything yet. This snare was set off. Nothing is in it. Nothing in that side. And I hear a plow truck. Well, the under ice trap, it isn't going quite how I'd like it to uh, so far. I've had some neat experiences in all kinds of different weather, I guess. But I really need to put more traps out. So that's going to be this weekend's task, is to put more traps out. Because the more traps you have in the water, the more likely you are to catch something, obviously. Um, the thing with snaring beavers under the ice is it's really hit or miss. It's not like in the springtime where you know you're going to catch something. I mean, you'll catch, but it's not going to be every day traps loaded right up, huge percentages, what have you. But I will say the, the traps that I have set around the double lodge, I have left alone for the past four days. I've had to hold back, you know, let them sit as much as I really wanted to go check them. But I'm going to go check them this afternoon and see how those are looking. And we'll keep the fingers crossed that uh, something will be in there. In the meantime, we're heading down to the property that Jacob has a couple traps set at. We're meeting him there. And I'm feeling pretty good that he's going to have his first beaver today. Unlike my traps, his are set in ideal spots. And when I say that, is the other day we found the feed pile on this lodge, and we got the snares set right at the end of the feed pile. We actually had to trim a couple sticks underneath the ice because we didn't want anything getting snagged. So we're right at the end of the edge of the feed pile. It's been a few days. I'm really thinking that he's going to have something in a trap today, if not two. So it'll be cool. Hopefully we'll get 
get his uh, first beaver on camera today. And then if, if it's a perfect day, we'll have one ourselves later. Only way to know is to go check them. We'll see you there. I think she's just coming back. Let's check this one first. Let's check this one first. We gotta ask him this one. That stick's moved too. We might have something there. No, careful, buddy. Don't hit on top of the stick. Easy, you don't want to hack too deep into there. Because if, if you got something, it'll float right up under the ice. This is one of the ones that's right at the edge of the feed pile. I see wood chips. Look at that, that's fresh too. So something visited this, at the very least. Oh, I think that's the side that I, uh, I cut, um, cut through a log. Gonna take a gander. You can't see. Froze on the bottom too. You see how thin that is? This one was also pretty deep, remember? Yeah. But we'll be able to see. I see one here. Oh. I'll just get her up. There's like no ice in it. Usually that's a good sign. That's all I can see. I'm gonna just pull it up. Yep. Oh yeah! Look at that, buddy! That's a big one. That's a little guy. <laughs> She's a big one. Look at that, Jacob's first beaver. And I called it, because I said this set would have one. Look at that, though chewed right through that stick and that boys and girls is why you always have a dead man up top you excited Rook? you excited all right you can see all the twigs and stuff right here this is the feed pile lodge is all the way back there but this is where they're going to be most active this time of year Ruger's giving them a kiss there you go jake
Fresh as ever beaver. Now, if today was any colder, you take that snare and you just cut it off, leave it right on him, because it'll freeze to the fur. Yeah. So, it's not powdery enough to dry him off. Hold him up, though. Show everybody what you got. boy, Jacob. On the set number two. Oh, my broken axe. Go for it, bud. Hey, I'll hold this so I don't rock down the hole. That was a good size air bubble. I see wood. Roger get. I don't want to cut you. Get. There's two there. Can I scoop that out? You don't want me to. They're chewing on something. Whether or not it's the set, we're gonna find out. I think it's an otter though. You see what? I think it's an otter. An otter wouldn't be a bad idea. In Maine you can keep incidental otters caught during beaver season. You can't target them after December 31st. But if you get one in a beaver trap, you can keep it. Watch out, Rob. Wow. Going for a otter too. An otter and a beaver set. A baited snare pole. Hey, look, they toot it too. Oh yeah, there's definitely more beavers in here. <laughs> Watch that room. Watch that buddy. I can't see. I told you I thought I saw something in that hole when we caught him. Geez, he twisted that line all up. As soon as I saw the whiskers, I knew if she was in the water. That boy, Jake. We know I'm a good teacher. It's a pretty good feeling uh, having Jacob get his first animals trapping and having me showing him the ropes on how to do it the other day. And I'm not doing anything different than what I taught him how to do. Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw. So it also makes me feel a little bit better because I know I'm doing nothing wrong. It's just the luck of the draw sometimes. Where he is sitting there, we just happen to be able to find a feed pile. And you know, that's that's great. Being able to set the edge of a feed pile is ideal. But now I'm going to go check mine. The ones that I've let sit for a few days. And we're going to hope that I'm lucky too. Because tonight I get to teach him how to skin a beaver and an otter and for those of you that have trapped I'm not sure what your thoughts are but to me an otter is the hardest animal to skin so he's gonna learn real quick but I want to check some more traps before we get into that 